Hello dear learners, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be talking about two very important concepts of the Spring Code framework and that those two are Bean Factory and Application Context. In this video, we will see how, what is Bean Factory, what is Application Context, how are they similar or how are they different from each other and we will also see a little implementation of both Bean Factory and Application Context in our code. Also, in our previous video, we had learned of how to create a whole project in Spring using Maven, wherein we had used our original example of car that we had been following through our videos. In case, if you have not seen my previous videos, you can check them out here and understand the whole example. So, we had implemented this example of car and tires using Spring and we had run this particular code and we had seen the output as you can see here. That is, we were talking about what type of car details it is. Right. So, in today's video, we will be discussing about Bean Factory and application context in detail and we will see how it is uh, implemented in code. So, uh, if I have to talk about Bean Factory and application context, they basically fall into the most fundamental and the, yet the most important packages in Spring Code. Basically, these two packages are the one that allow you to implement the concept of inversion of control or dependency injection as we have learnt in our previous videos. Okay, so there are two important packages here. The first one is org.springframework.beans which uh, has the bean factory class in it and the other one is org.springframework.context which has the application context into it. Now, if you see bean factory and application context, they are a bit similar to each other. Also, the whole application context objects are laid upon bean factory. So, you can say in a way application context inherits the bean factory interfaces. Again, I would repeat here that Bean Factory and Application Context are interfaces and they are not classes. You have implementation classes of these interfaces which we will see ahead. Right? So, Bean Factory, as I said, is the root interface for accessing Spring Bean Container. And one of the most popular implementation classes of Bean Factory is the XML Bean Factory, which falls in into the org.springframework.beans.factory.xml package. A very important note for the people who are using a newer version of Spring, that is Spring 5 or you know uh, anything beyond Spring 3.0 is that the whole Bean Factory uh, concept is being deprecated since Spring 3.0. So if you are using newer versions, you will get a warning if you are using the Bean Factory to implement the whole uh, you know creating of beans. Also, uh, you know. Application context is an advanced container which will allow you to implement whatever basic functionality that Bean Factory provides. Plus, it will also provide you additional functionalities like it will allow you to access message source, which we will see into an example in our future videos. Access to resources, event propagation to beans, that is, uh, you know, having event handling for your beans. Okay, loading of multiple contexts. So, you can have multiple contexts simultaneously, which is not possible with Bean Factory. Again, something which is common with both Bean Factory and Application Context is that both are used for obtaining Bean objects. Okay, and both of these have a method called as Get Bean method, which you can use to obtain the Bean. If you must have seen our previous example, you must have seen in that example I had used the Get Bean method. See here. So this was that Get Bean method which we were using. Correct. So uh, that is there. Again. Uh, there are multiple implementations of the application context that is a class part XML application context which we had seen our, in our previous example uh, that we had seen in the last video. Also, there are implementations like file system XML application context and annotation config web application context. In our next video, we will be talking about all these three in detail, what exactly they are, how are their implementations, how are they same or different from each other. So, please don't forget to see my next video when we will be talking about these three classes in detail. Okay. So, you can say in a way, uh, you know, application context is a far more better implementation of, uh, you know, Bean Factory. Bean Factory is a very, uh, you can say, concise or basic implementation. Okay. Whereas, application context is a more detailed implementation of Bean Factory. There are other things, you know, that uh, really people talk about uh, Bean Factory and application context is that Bean Factory takes overall less memory. It consumes less memory. Reason mean, again, it's a very basic implementation. It does not have very detailed implementations in it, except for creating Bean objects, configuring them and implementing them. 
so that is why also uh, it will take lesser uh, amount of memory but is application context because it is a more uh, advanced implementation it it has lot of other supports rather than just creating and configuring beams it will uh, 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 you know take more amount of memory this is also the reason why beam factory is preferred only for smaller applications you have very small application where you also have memory constraint you can go for beam factory but if you have an enterprise level application or you have a web application it is always recommended that you go for application context anyways as i have told earlier since spring 3.0 beam factory is anyways deprecated so it is not recommended by spring itself to use beam factory if you have you know a web application or you have an enterprise level application so that being there going further let's also talk about how are they different from each other you know so if i talk about beam factory in application context as i said earlier beam factories are suitable or they are useful only when you have very small stand alone applications okay whereas application context can be used when you have web applications or distributed or enterprise level applications okay that is where it is more useful okay further it supports only single tenant prototype beam scopes in our future video we will also talk about the various beam scopes available in spring in detail we will make a whole video on that so don't forget to even check that video okay so it supports singleton and only prototype beam sub scopes whereas application context not only supports singleton and prototype but it also supports scopes like request session and global session because it has to cater more to web and distributed application understand that it needs to support uh, scopes like request session global session etc which is available throughout the application over the web okay going further uh beam factory does not support annotation or annotation based configuration that is if i have to configure a beam factory for my code or a beam for my uh, you know uh, code in that case i will have to uh, you know use the xml way of configuring that we had seen in our previous example also right so here the only way you can configure a beam is through the xml so for beam factory the only Uh, configuration supported is xml based configuration and not annotation based on configuration whereas for application context it supports annotation based configuration you can use annotations like auto wire etc to support your configuration of beams okay this is again a very important concept that beam factory supports lazy initialization whereas application context supports eager initialization that is when i'm using a beam factory the object of a particular beam is created at the point when i call the get beam method the object is not created before that okay whereas application context the objects are created in the very initialization stage itself so when i'm initializing the whole application that is the point when the uh, objects are created this is also why uh, you know this is also you can say one of the reasons why beam factory consumes lesser memory whereas application context consumes more memory because it has to store all these objects in memory whereas beam factory will get the object only when you are actually going ahead and calling the get beam method right so that's again a uh, uh, very important difference between the two now here as you can see i am showing you an example of each of them how they are implemented in the code when i am using for the xml beam factory i am using a class path resource now you also have other ways of uh, getting the configuration file but this is the most common one again for using the class path resource you have to make sure that the configuration file that we are talking about here has to be on the class path the way we had added it in our example that we had seen in our last video that we had created a resources folder and we had added the application context file there so if it is on the class path it works okay so we say class path resource resource equals to new class path resource application context dot xml once we have obtained the resource we create the object of xml beam factory here and we pass the resource object so that the configuration file is now connected to the beam factory so that now the beam factory can go ahead and read this configuration file and obtain whatever configuration it needs to create the object of the class that we need so here we are creating the object of the car class i'm saying car my car equals to new you know uh, car uh, type casting of car and then factory dot get b car so i'm passing this again this is basically the id that you have been mentioning in the xml file so whatever you mentioned here in the xml file that is the id that you have to pass here and i'm calling the method here so this is how you have a uh, implementation of beam factory and for application context this is how you do it you say application context ac equals to new class path xml application context 
and then you say car my car equals to new car and ac dot get bean so you can see the get bean method is common again because application context is inheriting our uh, you know xml uh, sorry our bean factory interface so that is why you get this method common here and we are passing the id here and calling the method correct so this is how the implementations are so let's go ahead and understand the hierarchy of the bean factory now so you can see this is the bean factory which is our interface okay and uh, then there is this xml bean factory which implements this particular bean factory uh, you know interface uh, here so this is our xml bean factory class and we have the application context interface which inherits the bean factory interface and three implementation classes of application context that is xml uh, you know class path xml application context file system xml application context and annotation config web application context so these are the three implementation classes that implement the application context uh, interface so you can see the dotted lines they represent implements here and the solid line represents inherits here. so bean factory interface uh, you know is inherited by the application context interface and uh, xml factory bean class implements the bean factory uh, interface so this is the uh, whole hierarchy now let's quickly uh, jump into an example and uh, see how it uh, works so we had seen this example of application context already in our previous class you can uh, check my previous video today we will be seeing an example of the xml bean factory so first we will say what we will say class path resource okay CPR is equals to new class path resource. Okay, and we will pass the path into this that is application context dot xml. Right? So we will pass that, and then we will say xml bean factory. Now I uh, would want you to pay attention here that the moment I say xml bean factory, it is showing here that it is being deprecated. If you can see this. It shows that XML bean factory type is deprecated because I am using Spring 5. So, because uh, this is higher than Spring 3, it shows that XML bean factory is deprecated. So, I will say XML bean factory factory is equals to new XML bean factory and I will pass the resource that is CPR in our case and then I will say car new car is equals to you type car switch to type car again. Okay. and you say factory dot get bean okay and we will be providing the name of the bean here that is a car right and uh, we will say new car dot car details okay and uh, let's try to run this particular code and uh, as you can see here it is everywhere showing that it is being deprecated Okay, so it is uh, not recommended to use that. Okay, let's try to save all the code and run. So you can see it is coming twice. Once because of the XML bean factory and once because of the application context. And this is the file that it is referring to application context on XML. Let's uh, uh, just have a quick review of what we are doing. So you can see here I created an application context object here using the XML you know class path xml application context object and passed my configuration file and then uh, using this application context object i'm basically calling the get bean method bean, bean method which gets me the object the car class which i can use to call the necessary methods and uh, here in we are calling the object of the class path resource passing the configuration file to it and then creating the object of xml bean factory and uh, associating the class path resource to it and then factory dot get bean, which calls the bean object and we can use that object to call the class methods so that is it for today if you uh, like my content please like my videos uh, also you can share your questions or any feedback you want in the comment section below and i'll get back to you also please share my videos with your friends uh, to whom it is relevant and uh, help me in uh, you know sharing my knowledge with a lot of people uh, so that is it for today thank you bye bye have a nice week ahead